It says, and Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Uh -huh. yeah. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, yeah. right. which was the chief among the publicans. And he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and could not for the press because he was little of stature. Yes. And he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree yeah. to see him. For he was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to the place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down yeah. for today I must abide at thy house and he made haste and came down and received him joyfully yes. and when they saw it they all murmured saying that he was gone to be guest with a man that is a sinner. And Zacchaeus stood and said unto the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I will give to the poor if I have taken anything from any man by false accusation. I restore him fourfold. And Jesus said unto him, This day is salvation come to this house for so much as he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which is lost. You may be seated in the presence of God. I want to just speak to you briefly this morning about a man that must get to Jesus. I want to talk this morning about a man that must get to Jesus. I would say the man, then it would isolate it, and I say a man because it may be a woe man that must get to Jesus. I, I, I wish I had, had, had you, you, you with me right now. Uh, who is this Zacchaeus? He was a tax collector. It tells us that he was the chief among publicans. Yeah. That means that he was the head tax collector. Yeah. He was a traitor to his nation because he was aligned with Rome. That means that he would take money from the Jews to give to Rome and then he would take a cut for himself. They would give him a certain amount that he had to turn in to the Roman government and he could raise the stakes to any level above that that he chose. So, so he was hated by his people. Uh, uh, in your neighborhood you would have called him Uncle Tom. Young folk would have said snitches get stitches and wind up in. But, but, but Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus is sitting here and, and he, 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 he's taking money from his people, giving it to the enemy. I might have said something right there. Taking money from God's people and giving it to the enemy. Be careful that you're not taking money from God's people and giving it to the enemy. Zacchaeus is sitting here, but, but, but I don't know. Zacchaeus was a little different because something happened with Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus began to see something and, and something moved in Zacchaeus that he said, I don't want to be the way I have been. 
It's not wrong to be Zacchaeus, but it would be eternally wrong to remain Zacchaeus. All of us have been a little Zacchaeus at some point in our life. All of us had a little rebel in us at some point. All of us had a little larceny that was on our account at some point in life. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God at some place in our life. Zacchaeus, this man, is he, 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 he's the chief of all of the tax collectors. That means that they bring it to him and he takes a portion not only of what he collected, but what they collected. And he gets this opportunity and then, then he's the good old boy that drops it off at the emperor's feet. I wish you could see me right here. He, he, uh, he had to, even though he was a short man, he had to feel pretty tall. He, he might have had the Napoleonic syndrome even prior to Napoleon showing up, but he had to feel 10 feet tall. You know, when you think you got some worldly clout, it make us think that we're a little better than the fella next to us. Some of us could get along better with other people if we wasn't so tall in our own eyesight. Amen. Uh, my daddy worked at the racetracks in Ohio, New York, and in Florida. And, and I used to ask him, I say, how can these small jockeys get on these big horses? And he explained to me the size of a horse's pupil make things look bigger than what they are. He said even a small jockey looks big to a horse. Some of you got some pupil problems. You look bigger than what you really are. I, 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 wish, I wish you would say amen of any. Some of us know we would do more at church if we wasn't so big shot. If you wasn't bigger than the person you'd have to report to, you'd be better with your job. Hello, somebody. You, you, you'd be a better employee if you didn't have that issue that you are bigger than your employer. Some of us would be much better employees if, if we could just see what God sees. That every day is a blessing. That every rising and setting of the sun, God has given me grace. Zacchaeus, somewhere, he began to see things more realistically. He began to see that, that I have become a traitor against God. Somewhere Zacchaeus began to say there's something wrong on the inside of me. I know folks still looking up to a little man, but I'm looking up to a big God. He began to understand that, that something had to change. When I was in the program, they said if nothing changes, nothing changes. Some of us have been in church a long time, but nothing changes. You still like the same folk that you used to like. You still talk with the same folk that you used to talk to. If your faith five have not changed, then fundamentally, neither have you. A man that must get to Jesus. I believe the first thing that I see about Zacchaeus is a man who's able to see himself. Is what he really is. He began to understand that Job had dropped off in the poetic book of Job in the 14th chapter that it said man born of woman is of a few days and they are filled with trouble. I believe he began to understand that I'm in a temporary shell and I'm trying to make permanent decisions. I wish you heard me right there. Uh, that this tent that you occupy is going to dissolve one day. And you got to make some permanent decisions about where it will reside eternally. Yeah. I believe Zacchaeus began to understand that, that I, I must do something different yes, if I'm going to be different. I wish church folk came to church just one Sunday out of the month saying, Lord, give me a message that tells me where I need to change. Yeah. So I may be a better servant to you. Some of us wouldn't be sitting in the same seats that we've sat in for so long. If we came to church and asked God, God, fix me. Like you said, you would. I believe that if we came to church and we began to love like God intended us to love, that we would be better folk today. If we came to church not to hear the singing, 
but to see the changing in my own life. I believe we can be some better people than that. I believe that America would be a stronger nation if folk didn't think they were more important than what they really are. I told my staff, I get tired of hearing myself talk. I, I've gotten tired, Nehemiah, of hearing my own voice. I've asked God to let me hear the voice of one that's wiser than me. Let me help you right here. When you only hear your own voice, you only know what you already knew. You will figure that one out the next time you're in trouble. But when you only counsel with the folk you've been counseling with, you can only get where you've already been and do what you've already done. I've come asking God to be my wise counsel and move me to a new place. I believe somewhere as a kid looked in the mirror, he began to see not only am I short in stature, but I'm short with God. I wish some, some, somewhere, 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 we began to really evaluate your relationship with God. Are you short with God somewhere? Is your prayer life short with God? Is your meditation life short, or it's supposed to be quiet, short with God? Is your tithing life short with God? Is your love for your neighbor short with God? Is God pleased with my praise? Is my praise life real? Or do I just come and become a, a, a circus act in the household of faith? Because I believe this, if you jump the shout, you should walk straight when you land. I believe Zacchaeus was a good man Amen. because he began to understand Reverend Cherry that he needed to change. Don't be afraid to come to church. Let God tap you on the shoulder with his word. Sister Sonia Chaplin, and begin to change your life. Amen. Paul said when we know better, we do better. God is looking for do better saints at Zion Hill. He's looking at, for folks who, who are ready to let God have you and use you to his glory. See, see Zacchaeus, he became a man that must get to Jesus. Many of us have been in the same place when we were lost. God brought us to a place where nothing in our lives was enough anymore. He brought us to a place where we knew that something was missing. He, brought us to a place where we could no longer drown our needs in alcohol, losing in the fog of drugs, buried in the shallow grave of worldly possession, or give it away to some self-indulging relationship. God, through the conviction of the Holy Spirit, brought us to a place where we knew we needed him, so we came to him. He saved us by faith through his grace, and, and, and at least that, and this is my experience, and, and, and I praise him for doing that in my life. I praise him for one day I was lost, and God wasn't lost, I was lost. People really peel my cap when they say, I found Jesus. No, baby boy, Jesus has never been lost. Jesus found you. Oh, I went to church and found the Lord. No, you went to church and found yourself, and the Lord was waiting there for you, because he said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you bread. I, I didn't find God at church. I found me at church, and my relationship changed with God while I was at church. I, I, I know I'm preaching to some saved people today. I know I'm talking to some people who have already, by faith, have given themselves to God. Even after we are saved, there must be a desire 
to see him. There must be an insatiable desire to get closer to him. Some of you think you got close enough to God and that's why you stop moving and you are left behind and just like the message last week when Mary and Joseph was on the caravan and they kept going and Jesus was still in the temple. Somebody need to understand that you thought you were close enough but God has moved on and you're left there. That's the reason you're in the situations of sadness and depravity that you're in today. That's the reason you have returned like dogs into the vomit. God took it out of you, now you're licking it back up. God is saying to us enough of that, but we're settling for less instead of striving for more. God wants some folk that show up in church with a desire to strive to be after God and not hanging around with no living folks. I'm ready to ascend my life. I'm ready to put my hands in the hands of the man that still the water. I think we should have a desire no matter how deep of a saint you are. I know you speak in unknown tongues. You are slain in the spirit. I know you see epiphanies and you meet with the Holy Spirit here and there. But I still say that there should be a place in your life that you want to get closer to Jesus. Just a closer walk with me. I'm trying to figure this thing out. I wish somebody would come and go with me and become a man that must get to Jesus. Three Baptist points and I'll let you go. I see somebody taking a nap, nudging and say, wake up, pastor, talking to you. The first thing I seen in the text was the difficulty of getting to Jesus. When I look at this text, there was a difficulty to get to Jesus. It says that he had a difficulty for the crowds were large. Apparently Zacchaeus was a little late. I see some Zacchaeuses up in here. Say so he was a little late in arriving. So the press had built up. One day you will come to Zion Hill. God's gonna move in Bay of Vista. He's going to move in Rodale and Hercules. Yes. And you're going to show up late and oh, all of those folk that God allowed me to baptize. Oh, all of those folk that walked down this aisle and yes. gave their hand to me. Yes. They're going to give their heart to oh, God. Yes. And you're going to show up one day. And the building's going to have a press in it. And you're not going to be able to get in yes. because the crowd will meet yes. you here. Yes. And not only did the crowd bring him, but his condition brought. The Bible says that he was a short fellow. So sometimes when you come here, the crowd will be here. You're not a big shot in the church. Your last name ain't this and your last name ain't that. So you may not have a front row seat. And you know how y'all call me and tell me a few families run the church. I, I stopped by to tell you there's only one family that run the church. And that's a family of born again, baptized believers. There's only one family that God is interested in. His name ain't Hundley, it ain't hard, and it ain't high. The name is Yashia Hamakir. It's the name that fall under the homage of Jesus the Christ. That's the only family in that. When you find out that the crowd will be here, your condition will be here. But the good news about it is that you got to be able to overcome some things. I won't let a name stop me from coming to church. I don't care what you call me. Just call my name, Redeem. When you look for me, don't try to call me Hodge anymore. When you want to call my name, do like Jesus is going to do. He's going to say, Servite. That's the name I'm going to answer to. I'm answering to a new name today. I've been called a lot of names. Some of them I earned and some of them I did. But God said he's burned those names. My new name is not Hodge anymore. My new name is Son today. I've been adopted into a brand new family today. I'm a man who must get to Jesus. And I'm glad that I won't even let the crowd and I won't let the condition stop me and I won't let my critics stop me. Yeah, the critics tried to stop me because it says when Jesus stopped to talk to him, they murmured and they began to become critics. And they weren't just critical of Zacchaeus, they became critical of my Jesus. And I'm glad that when Jesus stopped by me and picked me up and dust me off and planted my feet on solid ground, I heard folks saying he'll always be what he wants for. But I'm glad that I got a Bible and it says if Christ be in you, it says if Christ be in you, you become a new creature. 
to man who delight in getting to Jesus. Zacchaeus says it was personal. The Lord himself stopped by Zacchaeus, spoke directly to him. I remember when I was a little man and I didn't have much going for me. And I was trying to get to Jesus. And I'm glad, I'm glad that he stopped by my old sycamore tree. And he said, Anthony, make haste and come down. Somebody ought to remember when you were a sinner. And you was high now to, but God stopped by. And he said, make haste. What he meant is, let's get in a hurry. I'm tired of all these slowful men walking around twitching. God said, let's get in a hurry. God is saying, I need real men to show up at church because there's real work to be done at church. I'm glad, I'm glad that I got an organization that told me manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. They told me a real man is a praying man. A real man is one that takes care of his wife. A real man takes care of his children. I am a man that must get to Jesus. It was personal, but it was also powerful. The Lord went home with Zacchaeus. Any man up in here want God to go home with him. You got to invite him in. Say, Lord, don't go home with me. Lord, but the thing about it, when he come in, he takes over. God, you can have my refrigerator. I pour the beer out. Lord, you can have my bedroom. I won't invite nobody in until I'm married. Lord, you can have my covers. It won't be no liquor up in the cupboard. Lord, you can drive my car with me. Won't be no months in the ashtray. God is looking for some real men. Are you ready to be a real man? God can have my paycheck. Lord, if you need somebody, we remind you use me. I'm glad that I'm a man that must get to Jesus. Because Jesus, you do know Jesus, don't you? Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, shucks now. Do you know Jesus? Jesus said, I must uh, go by Jericho. That was where I was at, Jericho. Jericho was where the thieves was at. Jericho was where the robbers were. Jesus said, I must uh, go by Jericho. When you was hanging out in Richmond, that was Jericho. And Jesus uh, said, I must go by Jericho. Down in East Oakland, when you was hanging out, uh, Jesus said, He said, no. 
very hard up in the creek. He said, Larry, come down, come on down. When I came to Zion Hill, leaking hard, crawling around in the mud, fixing broken pipes. He said, Larry, you hang in there. I'm going to send some beer. Don't y'all worry about Larry Hart. It's your turn. He's standing on the relay race. God is saying, here at the Zion Hill Baptist Church is to prepare God's people to live and love as commanded by the Word of God. Our responsibility is to work until we hear the voice of our Lord say, well done. He's saying that, 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 uh, 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 that all I need is Jesus, but you don't live like that. First time somebody eat the last chicken wing. We fall out over Stetson hats, chicken wings, Smells in the bathroom. We fall out over all kind of stuff. Fall out over people looking at me. They were looking at me. I looked back at them. Where was you at? I was in church. Where was you at? I wasn't in church. I was in the Lord's house. There's a certain way I'm not going to act in the Lord's house. Well, 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 wait, well, before you clap, let, don't, don't, let, don't let me bend the text on you because it says the earth is the Lord. Yeah. So, so wherever I'm acting, I'm in his house. Yeah. <laughs> However I'm acting, I'm in his vessel because the Bible said I was bought for a price and I'm not my own anymore. So therefore, I shouldn't just be acting. I should be following the script. Some of you have, are independent actors. You're off script. And the director showed up this morning to tell you, get back on script, baby. Quit acting that way. That's not who you are anymore. That's not, you, you, you're a different person. You have been changed. How did I change? Because the Bible says that Christ be in you. You become a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away. Somebody should say bye-bye. Some of y'all won't even say it because you content being who you are. You happy who you are. But God is saying if Christ be in you. Because if Christ's not in you, you got a destination with hell. And when the doors are open, you need to come and surrender to Christ. To get you out of the crisis so that you'll be able to do what? Say, thank you anyhow. God, thank you that I didn't die with that hell in me. I pray you are being edified, the lost being evangelized, and that our Jesus is being glorified by our ministry. You are welcome to join us in person. Here is our service information. Zion Hill Baptist Church, 901 Mariposa Street, Rodeo, California, 94572. Phone number 510-799-4647. Website www.marchtozion.org. Service times. Sunday school, 9.30 a.m. Sunday worship, 11 a.m. Wednesday Bible study, 7 p.m. Thursday choir worship, 7 p.m.
To receive notice of new postings on YouTube, subscribe to our site.